So me, you want a pill? So me. Excuse me, Madam President. Pill? It's going to be a long flight. No, thank you. Cyberpunk 2077 Update 2.0 is dropping for free on Thursday, September 21st ahead of Phantom Liberty release time. And while the enormous overhaul patch is compatible with existing saves, developer CD Projekt Red suggests starting all over due to the number of changes it contains. With the upcoming release of Phantom Liberty, many fans of the franchise will be making a return to the game before its release to prepare their characters and their builds for the changes that will be coming with this new update. Additionally, CDPR has repeatedly touted Update 2.0 as a ground-up makeover for multiple systems in the cyberpunk role-playing game, and now its customer support account has formally advised all players to start from scratch. They simply said, hey chums, while you'll be able to continue the game with your current character on an existing save, we recommend starting a new game after Update 2.0. Due to the number of changes, starting fresh will enhance your overall gameplay experience. With this latest update, I decided to create a list of three builds that have been recommended by the Cyberpunk 2077 website, which has made a skill tree preset on their build planner so players can view a build before settling with it in-game. For those who have already played the game, there will already be certain builds that you will have grown accustomed to and have spent many hours building and perfecting. Still, with this new expansion coming, there will be plenty of new options which is giving players a whole new variety of builds. Number 1. The Bullet Time Ninja Build Many players who have played Cyberpunk will be excited about this build as it helps to speed up combat and give players a massive power trip as this build allows players to optimize their reflex skills and master their skills with a katana and other melee weapons. With this new update, there will also be some brand new finishing moves that will be coming into the game, allowing players to quickly dispatch their enemies. Within this build, players will gain access to a finishing move that utilizes their mantis blades to shorten the distance between them and their enemies whilst also eliminating them with swift strikes of their sharp blades. To add to the awesomeness of this build, players can also add skill points into abilities that allow them to deflect bullets with their katana as well as being able to do a large slash attack that will slice enemies in half like they were made of butter. Number 2. The Hack and Slash Netrunner Build For players looking to unleash their inner hack and slashing skills, then the good news is there is a perfect build for you. With this build, players will be able to utilize their hacking skills to create utter chaos, whether that be at close range or far range as this build allows the player to hack large groups of enemies like it was nothing. If you're not contemptuous of just hacking people, then even better news is that the build will also allow players to hack into vehicles as well. This will add a whole new layer of chaos as players will be able to cause cars to explode or even cause mechs to fight for them, creating a machine apocalypse that could wipe out any enemy force that gets in the player's way. There has even been a new buff to the monowire which is a melee weapon that is heavily reliant on battery power, but now, with this new expansion, it will be a much more effective weapon especially once used with this new build. Number 3. The Savage Slugger Solo Build When it comes to Cyberpunk 2077, there are certain players who want to get down and dirty with their opponents and fight them face to face. This build is perfect for that, as it is heavily aimed at players who want to get close and personal with their opponents as it emphasizes the use of heavy weapons like hammers to rush at enemies and pulverize them. To help with these quick and devastating moves, there will also be a quake perk that allows players to crush their enemies beneath their boots, quite literally, or just for the fun of it, pick their enemies up and launch them at other enemies turning even your opponents into your weapons. Adding to this power is a finisher that allows players to use the gorilla arms implant to crush enemies with a single blow or the use of a shotgun that is so powerful that it can take out numerous enemies in one shot, helping players clear out their opposition in minutes.
These builds are only some of the creations that can be made by players within Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty by using its new Relic Skill Tree. And as time goes on, more builds will be announced and published to the Build Planner which is going to be available on the Cyberpunk 2077 website. For now, these are some of the best builds that players will be able to create once Phantom Liberty releases on September 26, but till will tell if players create more unique builds in the future. In all seriousness, this update sounds like the experience that fans wanted at the game's disastrous launch, so it's a reasonable sales pitch for round 2. I'm actually the kind of person who rarely replays games, but I was playing the ultralong game with Cyberpunk 2077, and I'm now smugly pleased that I get to experience the best version of the RPG on my first playthrough. So what do you think about these upcoming builds that will be available to players in Cyberpunk 2077? Will you be giving these different builds a try once Phantom Liberty releases? Let us know in the comments what you think. I'll see you next time.